The Supreme Court in Kenya has decided that the country's presidential election earlier this month was free and fair, and judges upheld the result, which gave Uhuru Kenyatta power. The ruling was received with relief. Five years ago, a disputed election led to violence that left 1,200 people dead. Doubts were cast over this result when Kenyatta narrowly avoided a second round vote by creeping above the 50% threshold. The defeated candidate said he accepted the court's decision. It is my hope that the incoming government will have fidelity to our constitution and implement it to the letter for the betterment of our people. Even though Odinga accepted the ruling, some of his supporters didn't. In his stronghold city, Kizumu, there were clashes with police. But the headache for world leaders now is having to deal with Kenyatta, a man who's charged with crimes against humanity in The Hague.